Nerf Modulus Recon Mark II Review Nerf Gun Modulus Swoosh <laughs> Included in the box is the Recon Mark II Blaster itself a six dart magazine a barrel extension and a stock attachment that's what they're calling them they don't have any special names like the rest of the modular stuff it's just a shoulder stock barrel extension no names that's it okay guys this is it the nerf modulus recon mark II. what we've all been waiting for <laughs> I'll go over how it fires in case you didn't know even though this is the third iteration of the same blaster and then I'll go over the external features and then I'll do a brief firing test <laughs> alright this is the priming slide right here to fire pull it back and then that's when you can insert your clip the recon mark II comes with a pathetic puny six round clip so let's put it in and you slide forward pull the trigger and shoot it's that simple here's the tactical rail right over here right on top of the magwell and there's another one on the prim top priming slide there are only two tactical rails on the blaster and here is the barrel the little barrel extension point it does not accept more barrels like the uh, stock modulus dual rail barrel but it looks fairly cool um, this looks like a tactical reel down here, but it doesn't have any locking mechanism, which is weird. But there you have it. Down here is your jam access door. Here, on either side, is your clip release. This is the main pistol grip handle. It has a um, handguard attached to it, and in the pictures, I was very worried about the size of it and what it would feel like but I'm happy to announce that it is awesome feels great does not get in the way of my hand my hand fits comfortably in there there's extra room by my pinky one annoying thing is this part right here as you can see it's actually hitting my middle finger depending on how you hold it yeah so that's a bit annoying there but that's all this is very good I like it I love the way the handguard looks and the fact that it's uh, big enough for my hand to fit in besides this little area makes it really nice overall this is a nice looking blaster and now we move on to the shoulder stock oh god let's try to shoulder this shall we yeah this is pathetic you can tell from the pictures but I'm here to confirm it this stock is absolute garbage it's ridiculously tiny and even younger kids will find this to be too small you'll have to be like I wanna say you're gonna have to be like six to use this thing comfortably the smaller you are the more comfortable it gets but for full ergonomics you'd have to be like six to take advantage of this I have no idea what they were thinking the actual part back here is actually fairly comfortable but it's way too short to do anything with this um, back to the aesthetics they seem to be using like uh, I don't even know if that's orange or yellow it's like an orange but they're using like three different kinds of oranges this yellowish orange here and that's kinda weird there's no green on here whatsoever like the rest of the modular stuff so that stands out uh, so it's weirdly colored but aesthetically uh, the physical form factor of this blaster is really amazing I love it um, <laughs> now let's compare it to the uh, retaliator which just is a reshell of so got the retaliator right there with the uh, the recon mark II um, if you thought the retaliator shoulder stock was bad and short 
<laughs> You're gonna really hate this one. It's even shorter than the Retaliator shoulder stock, which is ridiculous. <laughs> what were they thinking? Um, I can't get over that. <laughs> The uh, barrel attachment is very cool looking, but it's uh, really short and you won't be doing any pump action uh, modifications to the Recon Mark II without adding a barrel. Let's see how the Retaliator barrel looks on here. Hmm. I don't know about the colors. The shape of the barrel definitely looks good. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, both of these stocks are garbage. I'm sorry. I mean, the retaliated stock is okay. But look at this. Look at it. Yeah. Do you see that? Way shorter. Way shorter. Now about this little fake tactical rail down here. Yeah. That's weird. It seems to be about the right size, shape, and everything. Four tactical rails, but without that locking piece in... It's no bueno. You will have to, um, I know the worker grip fits on here, which would be fairly cool. And that doesn't click into anything. Doesn't have the little nub. Yeah, that does not have the little nub, and this doesn't even have the hole, this doesn't even have the female in to plug in, to lock in your attachments, so there you go with that. Anyway, yeah, so they're roughly the same size, form factor similar minus the handguard, but here is the real kicker, and I know we've all heard this, so... The Recon has been known to have a severe compatibility issue with certain Nerf magazines. So, it comes with a six clip. And you have to wonder why. But, uh, someone clearly messed up in the Q&A department. Twelve clips fit just fine. Let's, let's move on to this ten round banana magazine. The one that comes with the modulus. Nope, does not work. This little nub that's on the back of the, the um, all the Nerf clips. It does not have room to go inside or lock into this blaster. So any clip with this on the back will not work with the recon. Look at this. How does this happen? Nerf? How? <laughs> Look at that. I'm gonna break it. This nub prevents it from sliding far enough to lock into place and to line up with things inside. So, cannot use your banana clip. Cannot use your straight stick mag, 18 rounders. This, this is the rapid strike 18 round clip. If you look, the little back piece is slightly smaller. Will it work? No, it will not. So, how disappointing is that. <laughs> this recon for all it is does not work with most of the clips that we like um, I don't have one of these but I know for a fact that this blaster works with the blaster parts 15 round banana magazine the black one I don't know if they make it in other colors but uh, that blaster parts 15 round mag fits in here and it looks very good with this blaster so I mean, I don't mind using 12 rounds, but 
the fact that you can't use what you want to use with this is very ridiculous very crazy so as far as my loadout for it as cool as the uh, as cool as the barrel extension is I wouldn't use it because eventually I'd like to do the pump grip uh, mod to this one as well so I wouldn't use that little barrel let's see what I would put on here be right back guys right so my setup for this blaster would go something like this get your little super soaker stock or your worker stock anything like that goes perfectly with this blaster yeah an actual stock that has the right size to be comfortably shouldered and fired that way thank you this stock um, a 12 round clip or a um, the modulus flip clip should fit in here perfectly um, I know for a fact the flip clip fits in there after I do my um, pump grip mod I'll have a tack rail right here on the back I'll probably keep this intact I can cut it right here where it just says modulus and leave that permanently affixed there have my red dot sight on top then imagine this is the worker uh, pump grip kit right here or maybe I'll get the shotgun one I don't know but this is how I would run my recon so big improvement I guess I'll have to paint it this blue really stands, stands out um, but it looks good this way and that's the way I'd run it for people that were asking this is the way I would run this blaster definitely alright so let's do a firing test uh, if I feel like it's up to par with uh, regular elite ranges, then I'm not going to go outside and do a firing test. I'm just going to do a shooting test right here. I'll probably shoot Mickey a few times. Um, but if it feels weak or if you guys really want to, I can go out. Just let me know down in the comments if you want to see me do uh, an actual firing test outside. All right, Let me load this up. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm not... I refuse to use that puny six clip. I'm not going to do that to myself, all right? I hate six clips unless we're sniping, okay? So, I got my 12-round uh, clip loaded up. Let's put it in there. And, uh, yeah, you know what? Let me put the attachments on. Looks fairly cool. Stock looks like a joke. I can barely look at it without laughing. But uh, let's uh, fire off some rounds. Let's see if we can hit Mickey. Let me try to shoulder this, even though it's ridiculous. Oh my god, headshot him. Let's see if I can shoot the other Mickey. It's never going to happen now. Ear shot. Okay. That wall right there is about 16 feet away. And uh, the other wall is about 20, so... Uh, seems to be firing pretty well. Last shot. Uh, yeah, seems to be firing all right. If you want that range test uh, with some real numbers, let me know. I'll head outside. I'll do it. I'll get you out there with me. You guys can check it out real quick. But it's time for my final thoughts and opinions on the Recon Mark II. The latest blaster in the Nerf Modulus subseries. This blaster is weirdly colored. The attachments that it comes with are worse than what we had with the Retaliator. This is weird that they have what looks like a full-fledged tack rail, but with no um, little locking piece. The stock, it's garbage because of how short it is. This thing is almost like a deal breaker here. If you love to use 18 round mags, you're not going to want to use this. Um, that's a big, big oversight. And I'm frankly surprised that Nerf let this one out of the gates. And they had to have discovered this at some point. I mean, you can't tell me they never tried to use it with another higher capacity magazine ever. Um, the 12 rounds and the 6 rounds don't have anything back there, so they fit. You can put the flip clip in there. You can put certain aftermarket clips in here. But uh, if you run your 18-round mag or your drums, they're not going to fit in here. And that's a big problem.
Besides that, it looks great. I was worried about the handguard. I was really worried about the handguard. But the uh, pistol grip is very comfortable. Um, the handguard looks extremely cool. I love the handguard. I might shave that down. Maybe not. The trigger feels great. Feels just like you'd expect. Um, the little like sling mount back here is cool. This sling is the only one in the blaster right here, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, everything else is just like the uh, Recon Retaliator. The way it functions, top slide, not the most efficient, but it's doable. And you can just throw your pump grip mod on there. This side tactical rail is actually pretty cool. I'm surprised that they actually changed something in it. This thing is cool. So, that's it, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Tell me what you think of the Majos Recon. Is the fact that it won't accept anything over a 12 round mag a deal breaker? Or are you okay with using a Blaster Parts 15 round banana mag? Let me know down in the comments section below. Also don't forget, let me know if you'd like to see a range test for this blaster. But that's all for this one guys. So, um, As always, thanks for watching and happy Modulus Monday. Leave a like. If you liked the video, dislike it if you disliked it. If you did like it though, consider subscribing so you always get notified whenever I release a new video. And that's about all for this one, guys. So, thanks again for watching. See ya.